What's up everyone, Criddle here, and I want to go over uh, the elements and their effects within the First Ascendant. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion on how these work, so I was going to give you as much information as I found out about them by doing a bunch of testing here in the laboratory. Um, so let's jump into it and take a look at how these effects work. So first and foremost, um, your highest damage potential seems like it's going to be the one that takes effect. Um, so if you... Let's say you have two different effects or two different uh, damage types. So we're right, right now we have the toxic in here and this weapon also has a fire attack. So if we actually look at this weapon, we can see that the toxic attack is higher damage than the fire attack. So the toxic damage is what's going to usually apply the effect, um, but it's not because the toxic damage is higher. If we actually look over here on this one, uh, that's got electric in there right now. If I change this out, to something different, let's say uh, chill, or we'll do fire, it doesn't really matter. Um, so if we look at this now, wait, did it have fire before? It did not. Okay, so it's electric. This you would think that would do the electric attack first. It does not, it actually does the fire attack because the fire attack potential is higher. And I'll explain how that works here in a minute. Um, but that seems like how it affects on, on the boss or on the enemy whenever you attack it. So whatever the highest potential damage is the effect that will happen. You cannot stack two different effects, and I'll show you that here also in just a second. Um, every time that you do fire the weapon, it does add in whatever elemental damage you have. So let's say for this right here, for example, every single time I fire the weapon, I'm going to add in 1,124 fire damage, and I'm going to add in 1,213 uh, electric damage before any type of resist that the enemy may have. So if the enemy is super resistant against electric or fire, it will lower that amount, but these are your base amounts that it does add. Uh, you can see these damages right here in the tooltip, and then if you actually go and you fire the weapon on said enemy, you can see that it pops up. I get lightning and I'm getting fire right there. You can see a, a good image of it uh, where it shows your lightning and your fire damage, but it's reduced be based on the resistance of the enemy. Uh, so you do want to keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing is that uh, they they do stack. So we did talk about that. Uh, can crit based on the weapon crit. So if you fire a weapon with an element on it and the weapon itself actually crits, it does crit with the, uh, the weapon. So anytime your weapon crits... Oh, I didn't even see damage on that one. Anytime the weapon crits, the, the fire damage will crit. Uh, that was not a crit. So that was not a crit. Not a crit. See if we can get it to crit one time. Please crit one time. There it goes. It crit right there. So you can see that you increase the amount of damage that you do, which also increases the amount of dot damage that it does. And I'm going to go over each of the dots here in a second. Um, so switching weapons with the same effect does stack. So if I were to, say, have... Um, poison or toxic enhancement on this one. I don't know if we can get it to work right here live, but I will try. But we have a toxic enhancement on this one and we have a toxic enhancement on this one. Both of those effects will happen simultaneously. Um, but if you switch weapons, they, they will stack. So we can get like a stack on this guy if we can get it to start. And then you can switch weapons and see if we can get it. And there it goes and it stacked. So those will stack. However, if you have two different effects, doesn't matter what the two different effects are, they will not stack. I've never been able to get them to stack. So we'll put electric on here. Uh, and just to show you that electric will go on first, we can sit here and shoot this guy a bunch. Uh, get We get the electric stack, right? Uh, but no matter how many times I try, if I get a, uh, a poison stack on here first, and then I try to switch, I've never been able to get a second effect on there at the same time from the same character. Now, if you have a different player that's using two different effects, then yes, you probably could stack those effects. Uh, but as the same player, you can only have one effect on a creature at a time from your gun. Uh, may, if you have like, a, you know, character abilities and things, then yes, those will also be able to trigger. Um, so if we put on, I don't think we're gonna be able to actually do this fast enough, but we do that and then we do this you can see that you can stack two different effects that way 
but you cannot do it from two different guns. So that might factor in on some of your builds. Hopefully that helps out. Uh, now going over each one of the individual abilities or individual elements. Um, let's say we have, well, we just put in fire in there. So we just leave that one in there. Um, fire ability, if you do get the, the proc to happen. So right now mine is doing 8% uh, of the, it's going to do 8% of the firearm attack. So the higher your firearm attack, the more damage it does. So if you can see right here, we have, this is our firearm attack. And if you come down here, this is the, uh, fire attack. So it's going to be 8% of this. These these do scale up each time you get them up to a 30%. I have a toxic one I think that I've leveled up. Well, this one's not fully leveled, but this one's 22%. I believe it goes up to 30% max when you get that. So if you put that in there and then you add in also the uh, the additional damage. So let's say we, we have the fire damage here and then you add in the fire uh, conductor right here. It's going to potentially add more attack or if you add in uh, other things that are going to add in the like the the gun barrels that's what I'm looking for here the superheated gun barrel is going to add 23% fire attack so this one the fire when it's burning will add 8% firearm attack on your next hit this one right here will add 23% to your fire damage so right now we can see uh, if we hit tab we can scroll down here and see what our fire attack is I believe um, nope, it's not showing there. So if we go here and we look in here, we can see our fire attack is 19684. And if we add in the fire gun barrel, this one right here, it's going to add 23% to that night or 18 or whatever it was, 19,000. Uh, so it's going to add only 23% to that. It does not add an additional 23% from your firearm attack. So just beware of how that's going to work. So you always have to have some sort of fire attack for those gun barrels to actually take effect. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over that real quickly. So you do need to have an, some sort of enhancement first, whether it's from a mod or whether it's on the actual weapon. This has fire attack of 1,597 damage base on it. Um, so either one of those will work and they do stack as well. So if you can see this one has 1,500 base fire damage and I were to put in a fire, um, enhancement here and then you come back and you look at that particular weapon you can see that it does add those together and then if we were to add in a gun barrel it will add 23 percent more to that and it increases i believe up to 70 percent on the gun barrels so hopefully that made uh, a bunch of sense if it did not i apologize uh please ask me all the questions or whatever in the comments uh and i will see if i can go over them for you a little bit more detail um now that we know how all of those add up and how those stack um let's say we have fire enchantment or enhancement, uh, I always say enchantment for some reason. We have fire enhancement in our weapon here. When we fire and it actually does cause a burn, the burn damage is going to be 90% of whatever fire damage you do. So if you do 8% uh, damage from your, from your weapon, and then it's going to reduce that based on their resistance, and then it's gonna do 90% of that 10 times to the enemy. So you're effectively with a fire weapon doubling your damage assuming you get that trigger rate. Uh, we did not talk about trigger rate yet. Uh, so let me go over that since I just mentioned it. Each weapon has a different trigger rate right here. Usually that is somehow correlated to the fire rate. So the lower the fire rate, the higher the trigger rate in most cases. You can see that here with 666 fire rate on the Thunder Cage and it has a trigger rate of 4%. You slightly change that to go a little bit lower and that makes the um, the trigger rate a little bit higher. So there's a direct relation usually from fire rate to to trigger rate. Just be aware of that as well. So you spray and pray, you're going to get more uh, or less often you're going to get it to trigger, but you're going to have more chances to trigger. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so going back to the fire, you can only have one stack of fire. So if it does a thousand damage, you get one stack of that and it and it will do 900 damage per tick 10 times. So that usually is the highest damage potential however, or highest damage. However, the highest damage potential is actually poison because of the way that poison works. So if we put a poison mod in here, um, we're going to just put in our base poison toxin mod right here. Boom. Uh, we're going to put that in and we fire. It's going if it triggers. Uh, so right now it's doing 10,700 damage and then it's going to do 5,075 damage. So you can see it's about half. It's, it's supposed to do half of the amount of damage that it does to the enemy 
as that tick damage and it's going to do that 10 times however the poison damage can stack up to five times each time you get an additional stack it adds 40 percent to the base dot damage so in this case we were doing 5,000 dot damage you would add 40 percent of that dot damage on top of that which gives it around 7,000 uh, damage and then if you get a second stack you're going to add another approximately 2,000 so another 40 percent to the base which will end up being 130 percent damage per tick uh, if you get the maximum amount, right? So if you if you get all five stacks and it ticks the entire time, that's your highest damage potential. But the chances that you're going to get five stacks to be able to tick five times or ten times is very very low. So that probably won't happen. Uh, the next one is going to be electric. We're going to take a look at that one. It also does. If you do, let's say the eight percent, you're always doing the base amount of damage. It will become a forty percent dot so instead of like the the poison becomes a 50 percent dot and then adds 40 percent each stack the electric has a one stack and it does 40 percent of that damage and that's it. it and it'll tick only i think six times so it does a good bit less total damage than both the fire and the poison um assuming that the the resistances on the enemy are the same but with electric, it does daze the boss slightly, so they, they kind of become into a daze state. I don't think it fully stuns them. That's kind of hard to test here. Um, and in a lot of other places, when I try to test it, I just end up killing the enemy, and I can't really see if it's dazed. But it does daze the, the enemy very briefly, and it lowers their defense slightly. Um, so the, the amount that it lowers their defense, in, from what I can see, adds about 1% more damage to my next shot if I shoot while their defense is lowered. So, you know, you shoot one time for 1,000 damage. The next time you fire on that enemy, you might do 1,010 damage. Or, yeah, 1,010 damage because it's, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, so it's really not that much. Uh, it's, I don't think that electric is really worth it unless the enemy is specifically, um, weakened by electric or, or has lower electric resist and then finally we come to the chill chill does the uh same amount of damage so it's it's basically the exact same as anything else so if you have an eight percent chill mod in here it's going to do eight percent more damage based on your firearm attack but it does not have any sort of dot effect if it does trigger its effect it will freeze the enemy in place briefly, very, very briefly, uh, making it, in my opinion, the worst effect that you can have. So if we put a chill effect on here, whoa, hello. Uh, we got to get you know some weapon or some ammo here. But if we put a chill effect on here and we do actually hit him and we get that freeze, it lasts. There you go. It lasted for like half a second and then it's done so in my opinion it's the worst one but it does stop most enemies of course it won't freeze a colossus it might slow some of your elite enemies and things like that but it will freeze regular enemies in place um, so all of that said I recommend getting fire enhancement first if you want to actually add the most amount of damage. Uh, if you can potentially get all five stacks very quickly, then you want to add in poison. So let's say you're doing something that can just fire a bunch of bullets all at one time very, very fast, and you can get those stacks up very fast. That's where you want to do poison because it has the potential to do the most damage, but most likely you're going to want to do fire uh, because it's going to do the most damage over time. And chill is, is a very good secondary effect to put on a weapon because it's just going to add in that damage, but it's not going to, you're not going to freeze anything. So if you have a fire enhancement on something and a chill enhancement on something, you're never going to freeze it because that fire enhancement is always going to be putting on first. It's always going to be doing that, that fire damage and you're, you, it'll never freeze. So you can put that on as a secondary and it'll do the additional damage, but only that one time thing. Anyway, hopefully that helps with uh, how the effects apply and the elemental effects apply to enemies. Um, and hopefully that helps you with some of your builds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.